Hello my dear professionals welcome back to the channel so today we will discuss about three main job profiles which are the most sought after by today's younger generation data analyst data scientist and data engineer because the way students ask me their queries about these three roles make it very evident that they are all confused about these job profiles so it becomes very important for me to differentiate these three job profiles on a bigger platforms so rather than just answering one on one query so here i am i'll detail down each one of them with their differences also i'll specify which skill set is required for each one of them so that you are sorted once for all and you never get confused again when you are trying to take a decision among these three job profiles so let's get started So I'll start with data engineer role first because among the three among data scientist data analyst and data engineer the role of a data engineer stands out to be the most different one because it's not related to any front end analysis or presenting that analysis to the stakeholders it's more about the back end data job yes the all the data that data scientist and data analyst needs to play with to analyze or to arrive at the reports or to present it to the stakeholders all that data is provided by data engineer he is the person who makes sure that the data that is reaching data scientist and data analyst is worth analyzing is refined enough that it can be analyzed and as we all know when data is collected from for a company it comes from all different sources and in all different forms and data engineer is the person who create the infrastructure and maintain data pipelines coming from all different sources to one particular centralized location so that that data can be then used by data analyst and data scientist here is one example just to give you a little perspective like we all shop from amazon or any e-commerce website so there's a lot of data footprints that's been captured by the system like what kind of order is placed the most which vendor is a kind of fraud uh, what uh, ratings are given by the customers which is the most used payment mode by users um, cod or credit cards or debit cards and stuff like that or different wallets the data about return and exchange and all of that stuff and i'm sure this is not even 10% of uh, in what all forms data is collected or the data footprints are collected from that source for for one uh, e-commerce website there's tons of tons of data and so it gets very difficult for anybody to work on that messy data to organize it to store it at one place and to make it meaningful to be used by people to analyze further and derive results from it it becomes very difficult so here comes the part of data engineer so hope you get little idea from this that what exactly a data engineer do and now moving towards the skill set that is required for data engineer now as i said data engineer is more about back end kind of a job so it is more about managing databases working on databases query languages accessing data from databases so all of that stuff so if somebody who's very good or have interest in working in that back end kind of setup where he enjoy working on databases and query languages that person will do great in this kind of role and here is the detailed list of all the skill set that is required for this role for you to be successful and here is a little funny depiction of the role i found it somewhere on the social media though it's kind of funny but it tells the truth in a way so i hope you get the idea okay so now let's move to our second job profile which is data scientist role how data engineer is different from a data scientist role so data scientist is somebody who will then work on that data which is been provided by data engineer or maintained by data engineer and data scientist will then try to analyze the data and then whatever issue is being told by that data whatever issue that data is representing they will then work on providing the solution of that problem as well 
For example, in the same case as we discussed of an e-commerce website, there is a repeated pattern of uh, people raising issue about fraud vendors who are selling their products and the pictures are different and when they receive the product, it's different. So the data scientists will obviously uh, know the result from the data that that's kind of a pattern and we need to do something about it. So what they will do, what data scientists will do, they will develop or enhance any pre-existing feature or they altogether develop a new feature which can help track such thing or I would say minimize such fraud cases. Maybe they develop some feature which is more robust in identifying such fraud vendors be it related to their registration or be it related to how they list their product into the system. So they will not only suggest the solution but they will work on that solution and provide that solution to the customer, to the client. Hence, data scientist profile requires in-depth knowledge about logic, algorithms, uh, your statistics and machine learning and your analytical skills as well, how you arrive at the solution. Obviously, you have to work on software, you have to develop it, but first that solution should come in your mind that how, by doing what we can track such uh, fraud cases uh, in the case we discuss, and then you'll work upon developing that solution. So first, it's very important for that person to have that analytical view that what went wrong, how it can be solved, and then solve it. And the biggest mistake people do when they go for data scientist profile is I mentioned this in my uh, one of my earlier videos as well that they feel if they have the technical skills the skill set required for the role like I've listed here the all the skill set people feel if they have all the required technical skills they will be successful in being a data scientist however it is not so for sure you can work on technology you can develop uh, the product the feature but to arrive at the solution to know that this feature will help track the fraud vendors or whatever the problem is is in itself a job so people who are kind of crazy about problem solving will succeed in this career otherwise if you just depend on your technical skills that you are able to develop uh, any solution you are able to code that will not help data scientist is more about analytical skills your problem solving skills first you should know the solution and then only will you be able to develop it so hope that information is good enough to make you understand what exactly a data scientist does. Now let's talk about data analyst role. As the name suggests, they do exactly what the title says, data analysis. They do the data analysis. They are not the one who will be providing a developed feature or a developed solution. They are the person who read the data, who analyze the data and represent the data to the internal stakeholder. By internal stakeholders, I mean uh, the managers, the management or somebody from the client side. They would tell that this is this the problem and you have to figure out the solution of this problem. Now it's up to the management how they want to proceed with the problem they have. They want to solve it, they are okay with it or they don't want to do anything about it. So for data analysts, it's more about about um, representing dashboards, making reports and just representing it, analyzing it and just telling it to the stakeholders that this is what data is saying. And here are the skills required for a data analyst job role. And also just to mention very briefly that the biggest uh, differentiation that you will see in data engineer and data analyst and data scientist in one part and data engineer in other the data engineer is not involved into the front end the presentation to the stakeholders or to the clients is not involved into that he's more of a back-end guy who's making things happen for uh, data analyst and data scientist and those people are more of front-end people so for them it's very important to have good communication skills as well because as a data analyst or data scientist if you have understood the problem well but if you cannot articulate that problem to the other person who will take the decision uh, for that problem uh, what to do about it then it will serve no purpose because because that's the whole idea to convey that story which data is telling to other people to management to client so Com skills become very important for data analysts and data scientist profiles. And that's pretty much it guys. We came to the end of this video and I really hope that after this you are crystal clear about the difference between these three. If you still have any queries about these three profiles, you can 
mention them in the comment section as usual and i'll try to answer to the best of my abilities with that i'm signing off you keep on watching more content on corporate diaries to be corporate ready and i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and healthy take care bye